Hi everyone, this is Sandy and today I'm going to talk about the approach to total physical response. But first, it's necessary to mention some of the main differences between approach and method. Approach is a set of assumptions dealing with the nature of language. It is a theoretical view of what the language is and how it can be learned. On the other side, method is an instructional design for systematic presentation of language based on a selected approach, including some classroom activities. But who was the author who created this? Well, his name is James Asher, and he wondered why did many people have problems learning a second language? So, James Asher developed in the 1960s this approach, which is a language teaching approach based on the coordination of language and physical movement acting out verbal input. Yeah, we know that young learners need to move and they have got huge amount of energy. Yeah, children are very much linked to their surroundings and are more interested in the physical and the tangible things. So, children's understanding comes through hands, eyes, and ears. Yeah, for children's learning, TPR is based on listening skill through instructions while they hear, such as sit down or touch your head, for example. So, some characteristic that we have here is that TPR is probably the most over example of learning by doing. Another is was developed as an attempt to mirror how preverbal children acquire the molded tongue. And this approach is fun and stress free, which helps with long term retention of what has been learned. Well, some of the results that we have from this approach is that it places emphasis on auditory input on language development and does not require output until learners are ready, yeah, until students are encouraged to speak when they feel ready, right? And it is suitable for young learners of different backgrounds. All of this according to Air 2016. Okay, now when to use TPR. Well, this approach may be used to teach many types of vocabulary, but with connected with action, right? Actions are so important. It is an effective strategy to use with English language learners as well as with native speakers when learning new words. Its procedure is about six steps. The first one is prepare. Teachers select the vocabulary that they are going to teach. They can use picture or flashcards in order to illustrate the meaning of the words. In the second one, teacher modeling, teachers say the new vocabulary word for the student, right? Using gestures, facial exp expressions, or booty movement. In the third one, student mod modeling. In this, students volunteer mimic the same gestures or booty movement. The fourth one is student participation. All students have to mimic the same booty movement, but now, Teachers ask them to say the word as they are making the movement. The fifth one is writing. Write the word or phrase where all students can see it so that they can make the connection between oral and written words. And finally, so this, this, is, this step is very important. Repetition and practice. Review and practice word with the students multiple times to ensure learning. Yeah, recite through words regularly to make sure that the students don't forget all words. Now, the episode of activities. Well, we had first TPRP, uh, in which teachers can use a picture and flashcard. The second one is TPR circles. And this organizes students into a circle around the teacher. The teacher says the word and the last person to do the action is out. And finally, TPR Simon says. Some disadvantages stated by Boy 2018 are 
Students like opportunity to express themselves creatively because the teacher dominates the class while the students are just passive learners. The second is that TPR tries to replicate how babies acquire the mother tongues and it seems to ignore the fact that the brain gradually matures and loses uh, plasticity as the baby grows up. And finally, students are not aware of the learning process. Well, in my conclusion, I found TPR the most effective technique which can be used in foreign language classroom for young learners. TPR is a suitable technique which is built around the coordination of speech and action. Furthermore, the TPR activities are the best way to acquire vocabulary and comments. They facilitate quick memorization, they are funny and highly motivated. And then, there is total involvement on the part of the teacher and immediate feedback. Thank you so much for watching.